don't these vertebrae look kind of prehistoric? I always thought so. All right, so let's look first here. We have a cervical vertebrae, and we know this is a cervical vertebrae for a couple reasons. Number one, we've got this forked spinous process here on the posterior side. That's kind of a giveaway. But the real reason we know is because of these transverse foramina, and as you can see here, the red blood vessels, the vertebral arteries that are running through them. We definitely know that this is cervical. One thing I want to point out, though, is the spinal cord itself. You can see it running through there, sort of a butterfly-shaped gray matter surrounded by white matter. Uh, if we look at this side, because again, we know this is posterior, this would be the posterior median sulcus. This here would be the anterior median fissure. Of course, this is the body of the vertebrae. We can see that dorsal root ganglia. And again, one side and the other, those would be the paired spinal nerves that are coming out on this side and again on this side. If we go further down the vertebrae and we get to the lumbar region, which is what you're seeing here, we are now looking at L2. We know this is L2 because if you look very closely, again, posterior, anterior, you can see right here, conus medullaris. Think of an ice cream cone, conus medullaris. That's the end of the spinal cord itself. And what happens is if I remove the spinous process, you start to see the cauda equina, the horse's tail, coming from there. If we look on the side here, you can see the paired spinal nerves. So this would be spinal nerve L1 because it's above the lumbar vertebrae. That makes this one below it, L2. You can see the intervertebral disc if you look very closely, you can see the ventral root and the dorsal root. Remember, ventral is on the anterior side. That's the side of the body that you ventilate on. I'm showing you the front right here. We know that this is the dorsal root, and the dorsal root ganglion is this sort of pink bulbous structure because if I put this spinous process back on, we know that this is the backside. So dorsal side, like the dorsal fin of a shark is on its back. This would be the dorsal root ganglia. So again, the body would be anterior. The spinous process would be posterior. But you can see the, the tail end, the tail end of the spinal cord in where the cauda equina begins.